Hi, I'm Dieter Shirley, the Director of Blockchain Technology at Axiom Zen, and I've been the technical architect for CryptoKitties as we get ready for release. Hey, my name is Mac. Some of the CryptoKitty community calls me Fat Cat Mac. I am one of the team who's been bringing CryptoKitties to life. Uh, this is something that we've been working on for a little while. This is something we're incredibly excited for you to finally be able to play with. CryptoKitties is collectible, tradable, breedable cats on the blockchain. So it's a, it's a dApp, it's a website, it's an experience where you can go buy, own, trade, and like we said, breed cats with your friends and with strangers. We've created a marketplace where people all over the world are bringing their cats and uh, creating real interactions and new kitties that come from them. So it is a series of smart contracts running on the Ethereum blockchain that manage all of the ownership and uh, the genetics of the cats. Uh, so each cat is represented by a 256-bit number that is its unique genome. And when two cats get together, they can breed a kitten. And that kitten has uh, its genetics derived from its parents. The, um, the way that new genetic material comes out into the world is that we release new cats every 15 minutes. So a new cat every 15 minutes. So if you come in, there'll always be a new cat uh, available and up for auction. And if you're the lucky winner, then you may have be the person that first has a brand new gene and a, and a completely new trait. The reason that you'd want to put crypto kitties on something like the blockchain is because in 1987, when I got my first pack of hockey cards and I used to go buy the, the OPG one, was that what that brand was called? It was awesome. And they were mine. I put them in my binder. I had my little plastic sheets with nine cards each. Didn't even like hockey, but I loved the hockey cards. And that sense of ownership was something that was important to me. On the other hand, every time I go buy a game on Steam, I wonder if I'm going to lose my access key. And a true sense of ownership in the digital space seems to be dissolving. That's sort of common across all of our digital assets, and digital assets are becoming more important in this information age. Kids, like my kids who are born today, literally don't understand some of the concepts of ownership in the same way that I do. And what's fun about the blockchain is that it reintroduces real ownership. Just because we created it doesn't mean we own it, unlike any other game out there. So we create it, you buy the cat, you own the cat. The reasons to play CryptoKitties probably vary almost as much as the number of people who will play CryptoKitties vary. Uh, I've had people reach out to me and say, I've been involved in the crypto space for years. My boyfriend doesn't get it. He loves me, he's kind and he's caring. He just doesn't get it. With the CryptoKitties beta, he's altering gas costs, and he's transacting in crypto for the first time. So if you're a blockchain enthusiast, this is probably legitimately the best way to explain your passion to people around you. But also my daughter just loves the cats. She just thinks they're cute and they're adorable. And that for her is compelling reason enough to be constantly harassing me about crypto kitties, crypto kitties, crypto kitties. Maybe you're a collector. Maybe you're the kind of person who when they're playing a game goes and unlocks every single achievement. Believe me, we've got you covered in crypto kitties. My point is, I think there's a bunch of motivations for why people do things, including playing CryptoKitties, and most of them are pretty valid. And let's not forget the Explorer. I mean, there's a certain aspect of unlocking new things with CryptoKitties. We've released maybe 18% of the genetic options that we have uh, planned for the, the long run, and so there are, people are going to be constantly unlocking things in this game. Well, if you're already into Ether and Ethereum, uh, you're actually already pretty much set. If you have MetaMask installed and you have a bit of Ether in your MetaMask wallet, then you pretty much come to CryptoKitties.co and log right in. Uh, we actually use MetaMask as the credentials, so you don't even have to create a password. We just get your email so we can send you some notifications. And I frankly think it's one of the easiest to use Ethereum applications that's been written to date. 2 billion possible cats, 4 billion, 2 billion, something like 4, something like 4 billion possible cats. I don't know if all of those 4 billion cats will be discovered in the length of the CryptoKitties lifecycle. I think it would probably destroy the Ethereum network if they were. 
there's also hundreds of fancy cats. So all of our cats are procedurally generated. The genes, just like real genes, get passed from parents to children and you get some from the parents on both sides. But with the right genetic combination, you can unlock these fancy cats and these have custom art. They're very special, they're very exciting for a lot of the players that we've seen so far. There's hundreds of those. Uh, and there is the, we're not going to give you the exact same details, a ton of genes that are still to be unlocked that nobody has seen yet. And we can't actually take your cat away from you. Uh, one of the issues we run into uh, with, with this situation is, is that people are used to being able to go to the administrator and say, hey, I accidentally lost my cat or I accidentally lost my password. I can provide my email address. Can you please unlock my asset for me and give it back to me? No, actually we can't. The ownership cuts both ways, uh, which is very interesting. It means that we can't help you when you lose your cat, but it means we can't take your cat away from you for any reason. It also means that if the CryptoKitties organization goes away, the smart contract's still out there running and you can still breed your cats together.